Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna try and make this quick. We will see how this goes, but I'm going to be talking about the Refer Holiday 2021 collection. I'm filming this quite late in the evening for me. It's like 9.30 right now, and I usually don't try to work past six, but it's holiday season in the makeup world and I am loving every second of it. I'm loving every launch. I haven't done a dedicated refer video in a while and I just felt the need to kind of update you on my thoughts, hair of the brushes, and most importantly talk about this collection because this is my all-time favorite collection that refer has come out with since their initial launch. I think you get some really good deals, but brush shapes that came out with the holiday collection you will see, and the modular vanity, genius. But I did want to talk about something first because I know from a viewer perspective, I feel like this community of creators, we kind of, we push refer down your throat. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. And as somebody coming from the other side, I just wanted to let you guys know why we do it. I mean, I don't wanna speak for other creators, so on my end, I'm going to speak for myself. But one thing that Refer as a company has done really, really well is take care of their creators. And what I mean by that is I met one of the owners, Tom, when the brand was just a brand new startup, really hadn't done an official launch on their brushes. And I'm talking, he flew out to Maryland to talk to me. And I know he's done that with numerous other creators as well. So that was like something new for me. I was very, very small. So that was quite humbling um, and said a lot about the brand. And I can tell you through working with them for a couple years now, I wanna say, they truly treat their creators like family. And for us on the creator standpoint, why wouldn't we want to promote a company where we know the people behind the brand are just genuinely good people that we want to support as well. They check up on us and I think, you know, I don't want to talk about this too much, but I saw many of you were surprised to see at what a large donation they gave, obviously, to Mel's GoFundMe. And I can tell you something, I was not surprised by that at all. And I think that that should go to show you how kind the people behind the brand are and I'm not gonna lie on the affiliate side of things we do have affiliate links we do receive a good commission from it you know and through the affiliate links they definitely respect the work that we do but I will say this their affiliate program is fairly new I mean I guess it's been around for a few months now but we were pushing their brushes just as hard before we even made a cent so for the first year or so of the brand, there wasn't even an affiliate program. Now it's a great bonus that they've added the affiliate program, but the underlying true, true reason that so many of us in this community promote their brushes is because they're fabulous brushes, <laughs> you guys. You get, in my opinion, why I love Refer brushes so much is because they have some of the most unique shapes out there, particularly when it comes to eye brushes. And I have small eyes and they, as a brand, have eye brushes that cater to small eyes. They fit my eyes, they make it a lot easier for me to do detail work. Um, and I know a lot of you are gonna say, you don't have small eyes. Proportionally, no, my eyes are not small on my face, but I am only 4'9". I am a tiny little human being. <laughs> so literally the size of my eyes are small. All eyelashes are like this big on my eyes. So Refer is one of the few brands that creates brushes small enough to where I feel like it's not taking up my entire eye. The brushes are extremely soft and this is the best price that you can get Japanese handmade brushes at. You know, some other competitors I suppose would be Sonya G, Wayne Goss, and a lot of other Fude Japanese handmade brushes. And just being completely transparent with you, Refer brushes aren't necessarily as good as the Sonya G and the Wayne Goss. I can speak from those two because I've tried those two brands. I think the Sonya G and Wayne Goss, you know, they're better made. They're more expensive. The price reflects it. But as far as what you get for the price from Refer, fantastic brushes for fantastic price. Being completely transparent, like I said, you know, I would say the brush handles don't feel as high quality as a Sonya G or a Wayne Goss brush. Those feel like they're going to last longer. But the hairs on the refer are really soft and they offer some of the best deals. I don't think you can get better handmade Japanese brushes at a price like refer. The shapes 
is a huge selling point for me as well. The other thing with refer brushes to keep in mind is that I feel like they don't hold their shape as well when you wash them. Like these hairs can really fray out and you can lose their shape. So something just for the care of your brushes that might help you out. You need to buy these things. I'll link some up from Amazon down below. They come really long and you can cut them down. So after you wash your brushes while they are still wet, you want to put this around your brush and that way your brush is going to keep its shape. They have big ones for face brushes as well, but I've gotten some questions about you telling me that your refer brush loses its shape after being washed. These are super cheap from Amazon and every time you wash it, literally the brush is gonna be good as new if you use that. So that's a tip if you have bought your refer brushes and you were disappointed because you felt like they frayed out. It's all about the care. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to give my two cents on refer brushes because I feel like over the last year or so they've really grown in this community. They've gotten into the hands of creators and I kind of just wanted to update you since I've been using their brushes for a couple of years now. It's been a while since I've done a dedicated video and let y'all know what's up and just to be transparent because... That's what's going on behind the scenes. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna actually start off by going over the three shapes that are coming out in the holiday collection. So these are three brand new brush shapes. They are 30, 31, and 32 is their names. You will be able to actually buy all three of these in a bundle. The regular price of all three of these would be $226, but with the promo price for the sale, which by the way, I didn't mention their holiday sale is going to start October 19th. The promo price is 40% off, so you can get all three of these for $136, which is really good because you're getting two face brushes. This is where the money's at, you guys. Also along with that, you're going to get three different components of their modular vanity, and I'll have a portion of that for you to see on the modular vanity, but I wanna show you how to use these brushes and how I like to use them. So the first brush that we have is the number 31 brush. So this is a flat top brush and it has kind of a slanted angle. It's a denser brush and it's very, very similar if not almost identical to a Wayne Goss number one brush. Mine's a little funky from being dried. The Wayne Goss feels a little bit more dense but they're pretty much the same. <laughs> so I like to use this brush for foundation, both powder and liquid. I'm such a sponge girl. I prefer it, I think, with powder foundation but this does a phenomenal job with liquid foundation. And that's saying a lot, you guys, because I am very, very picky with the brushes that I like to use with liquid foundations. I just feel like it always looks streaky no matter what. And this brush, when I use it with liquid foundation, does not look streaky at all. And it's going to give me a fuller coverage than I would then using a sponge would. And I mean, to be honest, part of the reason why I prefer to use a sponge for foundation, not only do I feel like sometimes brushes make the skin look streaky, but I like the more natural finish that a sponge gives. But look, there's no streaks. I have not come across a foundation brush for a liquid foundation that does not give streaks in a very long time. So this instantly goes up as one of my all-time favorite liquid foundation brushes because it doesn't leave streaks, which is my biggest pet peeve. So if I'm ever in need of a brush for a liquid foundation, this has been my go-to. Seriously, is one of the best brushes for liquid foundation that I've ever used. And it also works fantastic for powder foundation because of its flat top. It really picks up the powder and allows you to spread it out. And I know powder foundation is a lot more trendy these days. Anyways, this brush is fantastic. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on a little bit more of my face and then we'll move to the last two brushes. By the way, guys, just to be clear, this is not about the makeup look. So I'm being lazy with the actual makeup that I'm using and how I'm applying it. I'm trying to show you the brushes. <laughs> the next brush we're gonna talk about is number 30. Now this brush I've been loving for two different purposes, finishing powder and bronzer. When I think of finishing powder, like the Hourglass Ambient powders are a great example. I like to use the Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder as a finishing powder. So I'm not pressing anything in too hard. It's normally like when I'm done with my makeup or my base, I will glaze a finishing powder to give a healthy glow. And for that, I don't want too dense of a brush. So I like this because you can see the bristles are longer, but it's not too dense of a brush. It's quite soft and it's just perfect for giving a light wash of a finishing powder, but it still is dense enough to give a nice bronze as well. So this is if I'm not 
not contouring. You really can't contour with this brush, but if I just want a quick warmth to my face, I will use this. So I'm gonna start off by using this with a brush. Now let's use the finishing powder first so I don't get bronzer all over my face. So I'm gonna take whatever finishing powder you have. Hourglass is probably my favorite, but you can see this isn't pressing too hard onto my face. It's just giving that all over glaze and finish that whatever finishing powder you're using would give. If I use too dense of a brush with this Huda powder, my skin will look so textured and shiny in not a cute way. But if you use a less dense brush, it's gonna give that soft finish to the skin. So this brush has been great for finishing powder and then let me show you it with bronzer as well. And you can see it doesn't give a precise application at all, but that's the beauty in this product. It's just a quick bronzer application to the areas that you might need it the most. So that's what I've been loving this brush for. Okay, and the last brush in this collection is the number 32. This is the only eye brush and take a look at it. It's an interesting shape. Brushes like this aren't that popular nowadays, but I'm really excited to show this to you because my mom actually used to have a lot of these brushes from Trish McAvoy in her collection when I was very young and getting into makeup. And she gave me a couple of hoof brushes like these. We call them hoof brushes. And there's a lot of different ways that you can use them and they're much more versatile than you would think. You might look at this and be like, what am I supposed to do with this? I'm about to show you. So I'm gonna put a base on my eyelids really quickly. One of the first things you can do to apply this, and I'm not going to do that because I wanna use this with powders, but this is really great to blend out your cream bases or your eye primers. Because it's flat, it's gonna pick up the cream primer really well, and it's dense enough to blend out that cream primer wherever you want it to go. Like I said, I'm not doing that today just because I wanna show you how to use it with powders because that's probably the least intuitive way to use it when you see a brush like this. Multiple ways that you can use this. Let me show you the first way. So you're gonna take the pointy side and you're gonna put it into a crease color, just like this. And this point is perfect for placing the deepest color in the outer corner, just like that. This gives you really great control to apply it in a pinpointed place, just like that. And then you flatten it and you can blend it. It has some density to it that's going to push the shadow very easily. So it's gonna make blending quite quick. I still would suggest going in with a regular bl blending brush if you need to really soften these outer edges, but these are gonna work out the dark colors beautifully. And then I'm gonna go into an even darker color. This is an RS Couture Supreme Bronze Palette. And again, I'm just gonna circle the deepest color. And then I'm also gonna use that on the lower lash line. So this pointed end, it's really beautiful for applying shadows and it's more precise than you would think. And again, you can use that flat side to blend. Okay, and then you also can use the flat side to apply your eyelid color. I don't know, let's use this color Soleil. So I have it on the flat side of my brush and that pointed end actually allows you, because of the shape of the brush, to very easily get into the inner corner of your eyelid. And it packs on the color quite well, better than you think it would. Anyways, I was really excited to see a brush this shape because I haven't seen an eye brush that was this shape in years. And I have this distinct memory of my mom showing me a brush that had a shape like this. And she went, look how awesome this brush is. She showed me how to use the pointed end, how to use the flat side. So I hope I could pass this information on to you. This brush really, really excited me, you guys. Oh wait, I just remembered I forgot to mention another use for the 32 brush. <laughs> I was just talking about the ways that I like to use it, but it also is a really great concealer brush. It pretty much is like the 31, but in mini size, so you can do concealer with this as well. So this brush is very, very multifunctional. Eyeshadow, eye primer, concealer, I don't know, nose contour. This is a great brush. Don't underestimate it. It might look weird, but don't underestimate it. So like I said, these are the three new brush shapes that are coming out for the holiday season. They will be available in a bundle. And next we're gonna talk about the modular vanity set up. Now this is what I'm pumped about. I'm really excited to show you guys this. So I'm gonna take you over to that right now. Before I even knew about the brushes in the holiday collection, I wanted to do a whole video on the modular vanity just because I thought it was so neat. And as somebody who has a large makeup collection, any type of fun, good, smart storage ideas, I'm all for. So there are 
A through E components for the modular vanity, and this is pretty much going to sum it up. So how this is going to work is all of these pieces are gonna be 20% off during the holiday event for Refer, but also if you order any of their brush sets, there will be some complimentary pieces given to you. Like I believe the flagship I set, you will be getting component B. There also will be a holiday set and you will get these components. So just take a look at the site now that it's live and you can see what you can get for what you buy. But I did wanna show you the components themselves. So what I think is just so clever about these is you can organize the components however you want. So these circles are going to be magnets and you can see they will join together. Now, you don't wanna pick up all of the pieces all together because they will just fall apart. The magnets aren't that strong, but they're strong enough to stay together once it's on your desk or your shelf or whatever you're using. So let's talk about component A, which is going to be two of these. And these are great for brushes. So I have some bling brushes. This is the Paige Corin set. It's absolutely adorable. I can put my brushes in here. And by the way, I have this that I've been using on my vanity. I'm actually gonna transfer what's in here and replace it with the refer. So that's what we're doing for this video. Tools can go in here. I have an hourglass brush. And then, you know, I also have a number of pens and scissors and writing utensils. So these will go in component A. And I actually have two components. A's. So I have room for more in a few moments, but let's go over what's next. A uh, component B is great for, for lipsticks and any kind of stick form. So component B is going to be these two pieces. And so you can see it has this square with half of it cut off and they are quite strong together, these two. Um, and these just line up right here. Component C is going to be for palettes and I've been using this. It is slanted like this, so it's great if you have small palettes and big palettes. So what I've been storing in here, I haven't been storing it like this. I've actually stored this in a different place. Ooh, magnet strong. And I actually have two of them and they can just go back to back, just like that. You guys remember my fall palettes video where I told you I pull palettes out and I keep them out in visible sight and the palettes that I talked about in my palette video. I'm serious when I said I want to use them this fall. So I've just been storing them in these little guys and it's been amazing. So smaller ones towards the front, bigger ones towards the back. So these are awesome. I just keep these in a different place than I would keep the tabletop stuff. But this is great for storing your palettes. And like I said, I pulled out 10 palettes for fall that I wanted to use. I keep them in here, the invisible site. If I ever am not sure what palette I want to use, I grab from here. Also, component D is just like the component C, but instead of it being slanted, it's straight. I don't have this one to show you, but component C and D are kind of the same. And then component E, they call it the catch-all. This is just for you you to put everything in. So I'm not going to connect my palette holders. I prefer to keep them somewhere else. But for me, I absolutely love this set. I think actually I'm going to move them this way. And I absolutely, I just love so much that you can organize these however you want. It's just, it's so functional. It makes so much sense, which is why I'm so excited about this. And for the holiday sale, you can also buy all of these. They will be 20% off for piece by piece. And you can just continue to build as your collection grows. There's magnets in the front, so you could even um, have them go out this way. Whatever way you want to do, there's magnets on all four sides. I would love to see them develop a way maybe for some height. I don't know. But anyways, let me fill this up. I don't have lip products put in here actually, but let me fill this up. Wow, look at all that that I was able to fit in here. It keeps everything nice and organized. So I now have some pretty brushes up here, tools, pens, pencils. My beauty blenders fit in here great. Skincare products, brush cleansers. I have some eye drops, notes. I have a foundation that I have to keep upright or it will spill everywhere. And lip balms. I have an eye glitter topper here. So this managed to fit a lot and what's great, like I said, you can just continue to build and the shapes and sizes make so much sense. So 
anyways, as a person with a huge makeup collection, I am so, so, so excited about this. So I just wanted to show you this in action. Since it's like 10 o'clock at this point, I didn't do anything crazy with my makeup. So a nice holiday red lip I thought would be perfect for the occasion. So on my lips, I did use the Florisys lipstick in M409. It's a good red for a holiday video. So I talked about all the new products that Refer is coming out with. Let's talk about the rest of the bundles and the sale that's going to be happening. So 20% off site-wide for all regular priced items. So anything that I don't mention today, everything else that they have will be 20% off, which is great. But they also have a flagship eye set. So these are brushes already in their collection, some of their most popular eye brushes, and they're going to be in a bundle deal for the holidays. There's two versions of the flagship eye set. So like I said, these are based on some of their most popular eye brushes, and I'm really excited about this set because their eye brushes, in my opinion, are what they do best because they have the best shapes. So they're going to have their flagship eye set and they're also going to have a, a flagship hooded eye set. So these brushes are going to be specifically curated to work well for hooded eyes. First, let me show you what is going to be in the flagship eye set. So the number one brush, which this is a very classic eye brush shape. It could be used as a blender, a packer, any type of way. Number two, which is a flat shader brush. Number three, which is one of the best small pencil brushes. Number 12, this is a fat pencil brush is the best way I would use to describe it. Great for putting in outer corner and lower lash line shades. Number 15, which is a great classic blending brush. And then number 29, which is great for tight lining, for using eyeshadow as eyeliner, and for really precise detailed work if you're into doing cut creases. I have this in my makeup kit and I use it to tight line my bride's eyes or to really do detailed fixes on their eyeliner. So this is what's going to be the flagship I said the regular price of this is $120 the promo price for the six brushes is $72 which is a really great deal for these brushes you guys now let's talk about the difference for the hooded eye set so the 12 and 15 these two brushes are getting taken out and they are getting replaced with some of my most favorite brushes from Refer ever, the 13 and 14 brush. So basically they're very tiny, tiny blending brushes. This brush gets used and abused from me. This is the 14 brush, perfect for outer corner and crease blending. And 13 is just a wee bit smaller, great for detail work, great for the lower lash line. If you have small hooded eyes, these are a must. Seriously, like you don't have to get the bundle, but if you don't have these in your collection, they're absolute staples to me, seriously. Everything else is the same, those first four brushes that you see, but they switched out the blending brushes and gave us some nice tiny ones. So for me, because of my smaller eyes, this is the perfect eye brush set and you're getting everything, a pencil brush, a liner brush, multiple blending brushes, packer brushes, one of the best sets they could have curated in my opinion. Anywho, I mean, that's it. That's all I have to say about Refer and the holiday collection. I did want to, you know, clarify a few things about the brand, really give my stance on the brand, just because even I notice as a creator, it can come off as a little pushy about the brand, but I can speak for myself and say, these brushes are awesome and the company is awesome that's why we as creators are so delighted to promote their launches really so that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will have the link to shop down below it is an affiliated link meaning i do earn a commission from it don't feel obligated to use it you absolutely do not have to if you do not want to i hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel and liking this video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys have a good one